free as a people? We are? How are we free as a people? Do you make... Huh? No, everybody's not free. If you pull out the money that's in your pocket right now, does the, does the money, the, the, the face that's on you, uh, the face that's on your money, does it look like you? Do you make any laws that govern this land? So how are you free? Let's, let's see what the Bible says makes you free, all right? Let's see what the truth is. Get that real quick. Let's get the truth real quick. All right, because it's going to explain to you what, what makes us free, right? It says you got to know the truth in order to be free, right? So let's see what the truth is, right? Free. Psalm oh, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law. And thy what? And thy law is the truth. God's laws. Once we come back to God's laws, that's what's going to make us free. So as a people, we are not free. We don't make any laws that govern our people. You understand what I'm saying? Now I had a question for you. I said, does God love everybody? You've been going to church how long? How long you been going to church? Over 40 something years, right? So I asked you, does God love everybody? You said, I believe so. Let's see if that's true. Get me uh, Malachi 1. Let's see if there's anybody in the Bible that God dislikes or disapproves of, right? Let's see, Malachi 1. And then we're going to get Romans after that. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The burden of the word of the Lord. Get right to it. Verse, verse 2. Verse 2. Uh -huh. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Yet ye say, where have thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. So now, let's talk about the two brothers, Jacob and Esau. You know about that, right? God is saying... God is saying, hey, if y'all listen up, sisters, we're showing who God loves and who God hates. Because the Christian church teaches what? That God loves everybody. Let's see if this is true according to the Bible. Read it again. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. So, right from the beginning, the most I said what? He loves Jacob, right? Watch this, though. Read and I hated Esau. So why does the church say that God loves everybody? Read it again. And I hated Esau. God has a hatred for a people and that nation of people is called Esau. So why don't they, in the 40 years you've been going to church, why has nobody ever told you that? Bring it out. Why do you think that? Say that one more time. Say that one more time. That's not true. We just we just read it. Why? Let's go to Romans now. Let's go to the other scripture. I'm showing you some. I'm showing that what you learned in the church is not true. They teach that because that doctrine came from this. Where is he at? On this side. That doctrine came no, on this side. That doctrine came from this this photo here. Because these people what? The people that brought this image what? They destroyed us, didn't they? These are the people that God is talking about. Esau, when you read Genesis 25 and 25, it's talking about Esau, that red nation. They brought this image. So of course they're going to teach you to love everybody with all the destruction that they've done to you as a people. What you mean? Of course they would, right, but that's part of, but this is part of their doctrine. And saying that God loves everybody, that's part of their doctrine. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Read what you got. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. What's your name? What's your name? Willie. I'm, I'm Oram, okay? Nice to meet you, Willie. Watch this. Read. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. You heard that, right? Now, from there. What does Christ, because they say that this is what the image of Christ, right? That ain't the image of Christ? Okay, so where do I go in the Bible? Brother, I got a question for you too. Come here. Where do I go in the Bible to show the true image of Christ? You couldn't tell me? You, this is not Christ, brother. Who is this right here? Is this Christ? That's what the Bible says what? Does it say all of it? Does it say something else? It's dark and black. Dark and 
collect it, but you can't, you don't know where to find it though. Can I show you? Watch this. Let me show you. Watch this. Read what you got. Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14. Now, I asked the brother, really the same question. How long you been going to church? Quite some time. This is Revelation, right? The last chapter in the Bible. And I'm going to show you what Christ looked like. And I'm going to also show you what the prophets looked like. All right, watch this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right? Right. So Christ's hair, we're, get, read verse 1. Get, read verse 1 first. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So revelation means to reveal, right? So this is the revealing of Christ. Come on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants uh -huh. things which must shortly come to pass. And, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, uh -huh. who bare record. Who did what? Who bare record uh -huh. of the word of God. Now, he bare record of what he saw, right? Now let's jump to verse 14. Let's see what John saw, right? Come on. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right, that's why we had that picture there. It says the hairs on his head were white in color and woolly texture. Who got woolly hair on earth today? Our people, right? Trump, yes, Trump does not have woolly hair. But listen up, brother, where you going? Go, All right, go. keep, keep reading. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, let's see why Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Let's see. Brother, I got a question for you. What 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 uh what Christ looked like in the Bible? What Christ looked like in the Bible? Us. Us. Can you prove it? Yes. Show me. What scripture proves that? <laughs> Our people always gonna come back and tell us something, right? Read what you got. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. It said Christ's eyes shall be red with wine. Uh, That's right. why Christ's eyes were red, because he liked to drink wine and what? In moderation. Right? How you doing, sisters? You know your nationality according to the Bible? They say they do. You know your nationality according to the Bible? You believe in God, sir? Get me, uh, what's that scripture, Zechariah? 7 and 11, real quick. Because this is our people in a nutshell. We out here with the Bible, the same King James Version Bible you got at the house. I asked you a question, you totally ignore me. 7 11. This is our people in a nutshell. Brother, I got a question for you. You good? What does it mean to be good? You living? That's good enough? So we living in an oppressed state, and that's good. Look it out. Does that make any sense? We live in an oppressed society where we get shot down in the streets. Our own brothers have hatred for us and will kill us at the drop of a hat. But you good though. Everything is good. You destroyed, totally destroyed. You are not good. Good, according to the Bible, good is the law. That's what's good. Read what you got. Zechariah chapter seven, verse 11. But they refuse to hearken. But they what? Refuse to hearken. Our people refuse to hearken to what? To God's laws. We'd rather be out here shucking and jiving, listening to music, defiling the Lord's Sabbath. Don't you know that destruction is coming to this place? That's what the prophets are here to do, to warn our people. We're out here to warn our people from the destruction to come. Brother, you believe destruction is coming to this place? Our people don't care. Brother, you believe destruction is coming to this place? What you gonna do about it? You gonna pray? Is that how you pray? That ain't how you pray. Brother put his hands together. That's not how you pray according to the Bible. And we can show you. We can show you these things. Read what you got. Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11. Uh -huh. But they refused to hearken uh -huh. and pulled away the shoulders. And pulled. Sister, sister, you got a minute. I'll tell you. One second. She asking who are we? I can tell her who we are. We're the prophets of the Most High God. Right. We're back on the earth to warn our people from the destruction to come. Right. All right, from the bombs, the nuclear bombs that's set to come, fit to come. How you doing, sister? I got a question for you. Come here for a second. All right, read that. 
but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulders and stopped their ears that they should not hear. And they should not hear what? The Bible. We're reading the Bible. Sister, how do you get the kingdom of heaven? How do you get the kingdom of heaven? Can anybody out here, brother, you've been to church before, right? Yeah. How do I get the kingdom of heaven? Kingdom of heaven. How do I get to the kingdom of heaven? I confess to the Lord that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And what else? And that's it? Well, that's about So, it. okay, what's your name? Harvest. Harvey? Harvest? Yeah. I'm Oron. So you said confessing his name. So let's say I confess Christ's name, but I still, I'm still, i still an adulterer. Will I get the kingdom? There's a lot more to it. Okay, so there's a lot more to it. Okay, so what more is there to it? There's a lot more. There's a lot more? Can you sum it up for me? You gotta live right. Okay, you hinted. You gotta follow his word. What's God's word? What is his word? His word is the Bible. Okay, I'm gonna show you what God's word is, and then I'm gonna show you how to get the kingdom. God spoke a lot. So I, I'm gonna one word. No, I'm gonna show you what what we what the Bible considers the word. Yeah, the the word of God is the whole Bible. The word of God is the whole Bible. Get, no, get get uh, Isaiah eight eight and twenty. Yeah, get that. Isaiah chapter eight verse twenty to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word to this word uh -huh. it is because there is no light in them it's talking about the law and the testimony right. so god's word is god's commandment yep. god's law right. right that's I'll show you how word. to get the kingdom of heaven watch this matthew chapter 19 verse 16. listen yeah. up sister this is how you get the kingdom of heaven all right listen up as you walking by and behold one came and said unto him uh -huh. good master what good things should I do that I may have eternal life? So this young man came to Christ and said, how do I get eternal life? How do I get the kingdom of heaven, right? Watch this. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, uh -huh. that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, but if, that's a big word right there. It's, it's, it's only two little, little syllables, but it's a big word. Right. If. But if thou wilt enter into life, uh -huh. keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandments. Now, a commandment is what? God's laws. I'm going to give you a commandment. Do you shave your face? Watch this. Get Leviticus. Let's see if we keep in God's words. Because this might have been things that you never heard before. Well, you gotta, well, let me stop you right there. You got to understand something. Okay, what I got to understand? Let me hear. Moses. Harvey, right? Yeah. Harvey. Moses interpreted God's law. Get Malachi 3 and 6. Let's see if that's true. Let's see if he came to modify or change anything. Let's see. He had to change Okay, let's see. Let's see what the Bible says. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. No, I, I, I modify. For I am, the, I am the Lord. I change not. The same laws that were in place back then are in place today. That's right. Let me prove it to you. Get Hebrews 13 and and then get back to five. This New Testament. This New Testament now. Watch this. 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 Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Watch this. This is the New Testament now. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today. See that? Jesus Christ. But listen to what you just said. You said Christ came to modify. Christ didn't come to modify. He came to do the will of the Father. That's it. And the will of the Father is what? Teach the gospel. Teach my people repentance. And that's what we out here doing today. So before you leave, I want you. I want to get two more scriptures. Of course they was. Get Matthew three and two. No, no, no. Right, right, right. I understand. Now, now listen, listen. That's the that's the uh, the uh, law of sacrifice. Back then, under the Mosaic law, for sleeping with somebody's wife, yes, you were put to death. Now through Christ, we have grace. So we agree with you on that. We agree with you on that. But, 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 
We just read in order to get the kingdom, you got to keep God's law. So the laws must be in place because why? You're going to be judged on those laws. How can I get into the kingdom if the laws aren't in place? What am I going to be judged on? My, my looks? My heart? No. Huh? You got to have a guideline. Right. Exactly. Watch this. Matthew 5, 17. Matthew chapter 5. In verse 17, think not that I come to destroy the law. Now, who is talking here? Right. This is Christ speaking. Right. Christ is saying to you, Harvey, think right. not what? That I've come to destroy the law, but what? All oh, the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. What did Christ come to fulfill? Acts 3 18. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Christ came to fulfill. Watch it. Acts chapter 3, verse 18. Bring it out. But those things which God before showed. Excuse me, read it again. But those things which God before showed by the mouth of all his prophets up, that Christ should suffer. Uh -huh. He has so fulfilled. So Christ came to suffer for us right. to give you a chance at repentance. Because right. like you said, if you committed adultery back in that time in Mosaic law, you were what? You were put to death. Right. Today, through Christ, you have a chance at salvation. Right. So now, let me get you a law before you leave. No, no, no. It ain't, it, it, it ain't nothing modified, though. The law is still in place. He just said he don't change. Right. Let's go. Know, but he gave you a way of escape. That's what I'm saying. Okay, in that he sense, gave yes. A way of yes. Yes, yes, I, yes. They were you back then, yes. But yes, 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 yes. He just gave you another way of escape to, to, to avoid God's wrath. That's true. That is true. So we agree there. Yeah. But do you agree that God's laws are still in place? No, the commandments are commandments. Okay, so they're still in place, right? They don't change. Okay, watch this. Let's, let me read you a law before you leave, right? Go to Leviticus. Go to Leviticus. You got it? Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head. That's for you, brother. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Come on. Neither shall they... Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Now, if your beard grows, see how mine grows in? I can see that your beard grows. It says you should not do that. Right. You should not shave right. into your beard. Right. That's right. Why? Somebody get the Bible dictionary that's, real quick. I mean, that's, that, was, that was the law. That was, that was the law for them. Right? No, no, no. That law is still in place today, brother. But it don't, but it does you just not. you just agree that God don't change. I now know. he changes. No, no, no. Okay, I mean, let me hear you out. I said mean, that's the law, but but that doesn't that doesn't say your salvation is based on the hair on your face. The, your salvation is based on God's laws. That's right. It doesn't matter which law it is. You have to be keeping God's law. Right. It, it is specified. But what the thing is, we all have to have laws. We have to have laws to be governed to keep. So, so everybody can stay in place. Uh -huh. That's why Moses. That's why Moses had these laws because the people was out of control. Okay. So there was laws that had to be set in place uh -huh. in order to for us to be governed. To be governed by, by the Most because High. If, because if not, we would have been all willing to kill okay, each other. So, so, okay. So, so okay. So in this society, but let's the way to salvation. Uh huh. Is what? Okay, you gotta confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. Okay. Now, that's, I, the, now, that's the road to salvation. Harvey, I just asked you a question. If I am a murderer, but I confess Christ, will I get the kingdom of heaven? I don't know. That's God's judgment. I'm not going to get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Watch this. First, the Bible, okay, read read the Bible 1 Corinthians says, 6 and 9. Watch. What the, the Bible says, the last shall be first, uh -huh. and the first shall be last. What is that talking about? So that means you don't. What is that talking about? For those who say they ain't for one. No. The, I'm going to just, I'm going to wrap it up for, for you real quick. For those who say they live a holy. And that's talking right, about, right. listen, that's talking about us that's on the bottom. Right. One day we're going to be in power. Right. But the only way to get that power again, the kingdom was for us and was always for us. That's right. But because of our disobedience, simple things like cutting into our beards, yeah. eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, right. defiling the Sabbath. That's what got us in the bottom of society right. today. Right. Right. But why would you call it things unclean when he calls it clean? What is that talking about? Talking about... Whatever, whatever, whatever he says, that is clean. We're going to get the dietary law for you. Well, see, that's why I said there's just laws to just govern by. No, there are laws that we must live by in order to get the kingdom. That's right. Listen, okay, if the, if the kingdom was, Harvey, if the kingdom was for us from the beginning, right? The king, the laws were only given to Israel, right? And the kingdom was only for us. 
Breaking God's laws is what got us in the bottom of society today. Right? So what's going to get us out of it? Think about what I'm asking you. The thing that's going to get us out of it. Yeah, I want to know. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work for, for all of us to try to get out of this. Okay, what must okay. I do then? Okay, because, you know, there are some things that we're doing seen and unseen, right? Heard and unheard. So, I mean, that's what I said. Ultimately, it's God's judgment whether we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven or not. No matter how we I just live, read it to you. the Bible says our mere thoughts can keep us out. Our evil. Our thoughts are evil. Our mere thoughts. Our so evil. Not, it's not your behavior. It is. It's, okay. I said it's not just your behavior. Okay, but my, but where does it start though? It starts with your mind. Right. If I'm changing and renewing of your mind. How do you do that? Ask God to help you. There you go. Ask God to help you. Okay. I ask God to help All me. Right, no, man. Y'all have a blessed day. Hold on. I got. I got. I that, 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 one last scripture for you, Lee, because you said a murderer about the kingdom, a murder getting into the kingdom. Because you said, as long as I confess, okay, well, tell me, sir, that's we it. Are, all his disciples had issues. We don't disagree. Listen, we don't disagree but because, with. But because of the compassion that he had for a man, uh -huh. he had to say, okay. So, because he had to, you know, he had to, because he had to Watch this. And preach. You know, it's hard for you to preach to me. You ain't never written, you know, I don't stole a hundred times, but you never stole at all. That doesn't uh, mean nothing, though. I'm here to show to, you, I'm here to get you back. To right. repentance, because you listen. If you go around teaching our people that the laws are done away with, that he came to modify and change things, just said that. No, I didn't. Watch this, Harvey. He did away with the law. You said he came to modify. Yeah, to right. modify means to change. Bring correction. Bring correction to a lot of things that I'm, was meant. I'm, that was meant for the all people Christ that came to do was teach the people the gospel, teach people God's laws. That's right. all he came That's to right. do. That's right. Point blank. Period. Watch this, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Listen up, honey. Know ye not the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Read it again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? What we are showing our people is that if you break God's laws, you are unrighteous. Right. Is anybody perfect? Brother, can you be perfect? No, sir. You can't be perfect? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.